Okay, your last question for the night. Do you believe in God? It's a very difficult question for me because I am, I believe that this in all, this world, this universe didn't come from nowhere. It had to be a start. But it's hard to believe the biblical uh, representations and the fact that all these religions that have been cropping up over the centuries and causing more more death and more wars than just about any other reason that you can think of. There's been more problems between people because differences of religion that it's hard to, to uh, say that one religion is outstanding and the others are all wrong. I think basically most religions teach the same precepts, basically around the Ten Commandments type of thing. And uh, that part is universal. But the fact that people try to impose, a lot of people try to impose their religion on someone else or think they're lesser beings because of their differences in religion, it makes me feel that religion is troubled, troublesome in many ways, and but religion is, aside, do you believe that there is a higher being? Just personally. <laughs> well, I. There's got to be, as I say, some some answer to the creation of of life, but I don't believe there's a man or a woman or something or a spirit spirit that is overseeing every individual and guiding them through life. The things that were taught by the different Bibles of the different religions are the so-called good ways to behave, and uh, I agree with those, although nobody really lives up to all of them, but it's something to try to live up to. But I can't say I believe in, in a God as a being uh, that picked any particular religious group to like the Jews are supposed to be the chosen people. I don't really feel that there's any chosen group. It's just creation happened for whatever caused it or whoever caused it. And I've been under the impression that things just happen as they happen. There's no men and women are imperfect and they do things that they cause all these terrible things and they, nature is very imperfect, causes a lot of problems. So the person that says that thanks God, which I do anyway for something that happens in it, that's good, you can't blame God for something that's bad because bad things happen to everybody and good things happen to everybody. So it's, I don't know how I can put it, I just, there is some kind of supreme uh, reason for our existence, but I feel that whoever or whatever created, let men create their own paths through life and whatever happens, happens. You're on your own. Yeah. Once you once you're here, you're on your own. Yeah. You make your own destiny. I would say so. Yeah. Uh, so, was there a uh, profound spiritual moment of your life? Did you ever have a situation? I guess the answer to that would be no. 
where do you, was there anything that happened in your life where you feel that God intervened maybe when you were up in your World War II airplane and there was a bullet that went through the bottom of the plane, up through the inside of the plane, and got caught in your seat? Went through the seat. Went yeah. through the seat and stopped in your butt. No, I wasn't in the seat. Oh, I you were in the I seat. I was looking out to see where the bombs were hitting. So, but had you been in the seat, it might have you, you would have. in the butt. Oh, I thought it did get you in the butt. No. Did you actually have the shrapnel? I did. It's a little piece of it. So, don't you think the fact that you were out of the seat at that moment maybe saved your life or saved your butt? Yeah, but I never. <laughs> I never of it. attributed it to God worrying about me in particular. I mean, there was there was a lot of people that were, you know, millions and millions of people were killed or maimed by that terrible war. And uh, but you survived. So did you? A lot see of us survived, and I, I don't know why. I don't know why you see somebody. Uh, we had a a crew in our group that was flying right in front of us. We had already come back and we were over the English Channel, approaching the White Cliffs of Dover, and uh, the plane suddenly went into a dive and smashed into the ground just beyond the cliffs. We found out later that they had been on their last mission and it just survived up to that point, and they were all, all the crew except the pilots were in one section of the airplane where their parachutes were not with them. And the fire broke out somehow and uh, burnt them. the control. Whatever happened, they just perished. Right. And they had completed everything they were set up to do. So I never thought of it as if God picked on them or God looked, oversaw us. You, it's hard to explain. As I told uh, Doug, I think, when we went out, when we, went, we were young kids, so maybe that, that had nothing to do with it, but we never seemed to me we never worried about what's going to happen until the time came for it to happen. Uh, in other words, we didn't lose any sleep until we got up and we went to the briefing room and we saw where the target was. Some of the targets were, we knew from the experience were pretty terrible. And yeah, we felt pretty shaky sometimes then. But, when you got through with that, when you got in there and did your mission and you accomplished it and on your way back, you sort of relaxed and it was, it was over till the next one. So it wasn't a matter of... Uh, you didn't pray every morning and say, I hope I get, I return no. Safely, you just went and did your job, and that was it. I could just say that there didn't seem to be any anybody that was uh, like that. I mean, not to my knowledge. You went out, like you say, and you you did it, and everybody did it. There were no like you see in some of these movies. I never ran into any cowards that say, I'm not going to go get in the airplane today. I have a, I, my number's up. Or, or I have up. a bad feeling. All the, we all went. We all did our thing, came back. When we came back, we more or less forgot. About, I can't remember the exact feeling. But uh, it wasn't that I always said, and I might have written even to my mother or mom, when we're flying and we get, we're getting shot at, yeah, we're plenty scared. But back home, you don't know when we're flying, and you're you're never relieved. We get relief after it's over till the next one. At home, you're always concerned because you don't know what's, what's happening. Mm -hmm. 
So in a way, it was harder on the people back home. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's basically how I felt. Mm -hmm.